What's up guys, in today's episode, I go over the Armored Amplification 50 Watt Sabo Head. Stay tuned. What's up guys, it's your boy Luis Torres and welcome to another awesome episode! Uh, so guys, if you missed out on the Goat Whore online concert, you guys missed an absolutely incredible show. Huge shout out to my boy Sammy, the guitarist of Goat Whore. While I was watching the show, you know, throughout the, you know, at every once in a while they would have like a break and they had footage of Sammy talking and the rest of the guys kind of going over their experience uh, while they were preparing for the show. And of course they had a link to their merchandise. I ended up buying six Goat Whore t-shirts because you know what you do when you are supporting a band? You support them, like legitimately you support them financially. You go and you watch their shows and that's just what friends do, you know what I mean? So if you guys haven't picked up any Goat Whore merchandise, click on the description below. I'll send you right over to them. Get your Goat Whore gear. So. The other day I'm chatting with James, the owner of Armored Amplification, and he's like, you still got your Sabo? I'm like, yeah. Meanwhile, that's Sabo number one. So of course, dude, I will never ever sell that thing. Uh, and he's like, there's a new revamped version of the Sabo coming out. I'm like, what? Super excited. So of course, you know, I've been playing my Sabo nonstop since then. And, you know, I have all these amps. So, you know, I have to dedicate some time to each amp. So I kind of make my rounds, right? From my Bogners to my PV, Randalls, uh, Soldanos, my Mesa, and, you know, my Mr. Hector, and of course my Sabo. Um, and, you know, it's just one of those amps that you literally plug guitar right into the amp. It is quiet, which is really, I think that's kind of, not that that's the ultimate uh, of that head, uh, because the throaty, crazy tone that it creates uh, is literally key. Uh, but the fact that it's quiet to me is so important. You know, it's one of the amps that I never have to use a, a noise gate on. And think about that. Like, how many amps do you have that without it, it sounds terrible? I know, uh, I have a bunch that do just that, uh, but the Armored Amplification Sabo is quiet and that's what I love. So if you're looking for an amp by a boutique builder out in Florida, uh, who's in the military, then you have to check out Armored Amplification. Again, I'll put a link below in the description. That way you guys can just check out uh, all of his other amps that he has there. In the meantime, I'm going to grab my 1991 ESP M2 Custom with the Seymour Duncan, Nazgul in the bridge. If you haven't checked out the Nazgul bridges, uh, bridge pickups, they're great. Uh, but of course, you know, I'm a little biased because I love, love my Voodoo custom pickups. So uh, I'll put a description in the link for them also because Rich is the man. All right, so let me grab this guy. And I'm going to switch over. Is it on? No. Take it off standby. All right, let me switch mics.
You know, so in between playing, if you kind of dial back, you'll hear how quiet it is when I'm just kind of stopping for a quick second. And it's just shocking how quiet it is. Uh, and I feel like all of these huge companies like Bogner and Marshall, you know, they're great amps, but they are noisy. <laughs> ah, what were they thinking in making an amp and giving it this gain stage that they have that, you know, you have kind of no control over how noisy the amp is. Uh, whereas the armored amplification Sabo is just perfectly quiet. You know, you can play, you can use, um, you know, it's a 50 watt, but you can actually use an uh, attenuator and play at bedroom levels. Like that's insane. Like to be able to play at low levels and still have it be hugely monstrous of a tone and then take it to a show and just crank it when shows come. But you know what? If you are still playing in your band or will at some point get back to your rehearsal time, you know what? Ultimately, in the end, you're going to sit back and be like, what's up, son? You want to check out my new armored Sabo? This thing is a beast, and it totally is. Uh, and if you're if you've never used an amp that has the Jose mod that has a gain one and a gain two stage, what ends up happening is one is your gain, and the other one structures how that gain stage frequency uh, is you know gauges. So you know, imagine using any amp and having to buy, of course, because you always, with all these other amps, you have to buy other things uh, like a noise gate. Uh, but for the most part, when you're using those two dials, um, it's like having, um, do I dare say uh, something like a, a boss uh, parametric EQ where you are able to change the frequency uh, so if you don't want that much gain, you can dial it back, but then you can actually use the gain too and structure how you want that gain to sound. If you want it to be a little throatier, if you want it to be a little lighter. So for all you guys who are into progressive metal, you know, if you want super precise notes and the articulation that it comes with, um, in the style of metal that you play, then the armored amplification has you covered, whether it's you know, progressive metal or like me, where you're just playing dad core and you're just like, you're not that good. We need a little extra gain. And that's what, you know, I'm able to do, but you know, you play around with that and do, there's nothing better than using an amp and being able to change its voicing. And, you know, that's why when I try, <laughs> when I first demoed the armored Sabo, where, when James sent it up to me, you know, he had actually contacted a few other people and they're like, what do you think about Luis Torres? Cause I have this amp and, uh, and he reached out to Jordan, uh, from high wind amplification. He's just like, he's a good guy. You, I think you'll like working with him. So him and I are talking, he sends me the amp. Yo, I was this close to sending him a check <laughs> for that amp. Um, and I was just super glad that I ended up getting it. In fact, I ended up buying this amp from Jordan. Um, and, you know, I will never, ever get rid of this amp. I will sell almost everything and will end up keeping three amps. That will, without question, be one of them because it is that brutal and that incredible in being able to just having fun and changing the tone and varying gain that you, you know, regardless of the style of music that you play, you know, that's kind of the hard thing to do. Like, you know, use a Mesa rectifier. You can't really much play anything else. Um, whereas the Sabo you can, and that's, you know, really key when you're able to use an amp that's, that's well versed in being able to target different types of music. So guys, again, I'm going to put a description below uh, or put the link in the description below. So check that out. If you have not clicked on the, on the, uh, subscribe button, do so now. And then guess what? Yo, I know all of you guys have been complaining on how the focusing goes in and out. Yo, I just figured it out. Just figured it out. Yo, how crazy is that? This is the first video <laughs> where I figured out the whole focus, focusing thing. So if you notice, you don't see it, you know, going, ah, ah, I don't know where you are, Louis, 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 where are you? Um, so it's static and I'm super grateful for that. And, uh, 
thanks to all the guys that were just like, yo, this is the program you need. So, uh, so I'm using something else to film this video. So, or different programs. So guys, again, as usual, thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best and I will talk to you guys soon.